Um, when you have a state that increases its wealth by $800 billion in eight years, uh, you would have to expect that government will be a part of that. In fact, government helps cause some of that wealth. Uh, but more schooling, uh, more roads, uh, more health care, more child care, uh, more investment in, in water projects, all of that is what government is. And uh, the idea that we could uh, have a vastly increased wealth with uh, all the problems we have in terms of uh, social problems, environmental problems, and not try to spend some of the money uh, is almost unthinkable. And the only other way around it would be to start, would be to return tax money, uh, as was happened under Reagan and to a little, small extent under Duke Magian. And then you would, and then you would return the money, and then you would have a recession, and you'd have to increase the taxes, which is exactly what Reagan did. He gave money back, and then he raised the taxes, and then so it becomes kind of a ping pong. So I've tried to put it on a steady keel, and yes, uh, uh, we have spent more money, and I can promise you in the next legislative session, they're gonna wanna spend a lot more. So uh, there is a, a legitimate uh, use for the term fiscally prudent, and I think you can appreciate all that in the next couple of years, because I would venture to say the budgets will grow, and they'll grow particularly because there's so much money. And then after that, uh, they will cut, be cut because we'll be in a recession. And it's that ebb and flow, that rhythm of life uh, that defines all of us as we try to make the best of it.